Here now is Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. Leader McCarthy, welcome. How significant, how surprising was yesterday's announcement with Brett Baer? It was surprising, but if you, if you listen to Joe Manchin, the one thing about him, he has been exactly and consistently honest all the way through. He said he would, and he even signed a paper, he would not go higher than the $1.8 trillion. And the Democrats made a fatal mistake, and Nancy Pelosi made a fatal mistake. Remember, they all said they wouldn't pass a bill in the House until it had already been conferenced in the Senate and make sure it passed the Senate. She had all of her Democrats, and there were no Joe Manchins over there that would stand up. Only one would. And now they have voted for the 87,000 IRS agents to spy on you. They voted to open the border and make people legal citizens when they came here illegally. They voted to take away work requirements. This is a very bad vote. But Joe Manchin kept his word. Now, I didn't think this would happen. I thought the odds were that they would get something through. This is a real defeat all around, and they overplayed their hand. And for those who thought they would intimidate Joe Manchin in West Virginia, they ought to look again. Joe Manchin is more popular in West Virginia today because what he said yesterday, and they're not going to intimidate him, and more people will stand with him in West Virginia. So, you know, uh, President Trump is making uh, a lot of noise against people that do buck the party and uh, to primary them. Do you think if President Trump reached out to Joe Manchin and said, I will go out of my way to make sure you're unopposed, if you just come over to the Republican Party, that that would move the needle for Joe Manchin and get him out? Clearly, they don't like him. You know, I've talked with Joe before, and when President Trump was in, Joe Manchin would be at the White House many times I was down there, and he tried to work with a lot of different issues. We were successful. Remember, we had an individual re-register from Democrat to Republican, and I think there are a few other Democrats out there that are thinking about it. Why? Not because they've changed, but the party has changed. The Democrat Party is no longer the Democrat Party of old. This is a socialist Democrat Party. Bernie Sanders says it, AOC and others. And that yeah. is out of step with the mainstream of America. That is their problem. They're letting that wing, of the socialist wing of the party, dictate their policies, dictate the intimidation. Right. But lucky for us, Joe Manchin stood up to it. Right. Uh, if Joe Manchin ends up being the leader of the party, that's the most trouble Republicans would have because he's a reasonable, yeah. common-sense Democrat like the one that possibly, my fingers are crossed, became mayor of New York City. Your name came up on another network. Adam Kinzinger, a fellow Republican, uh, said this about you. Kevin McCarthy himself, I think, made Donald Trump relevant again when two weeks after January 6 or so, he went back down to Mar-a-Lago and brought him back to political life by putting his arm around him, taking that picture, and, uh, and basically sending a signal to the rest of the Republicans that were pretty quiet at this moment that we got to get back on the Trump train. Did Kevin McCarthy resuscitate, resuscitate <laughs> President Trump? Well, the one thing I know, President Trump is more relevant, especially his policies are more relevant today and a lot more relevant than a member who's quitting Congress. All right. Adam Kinzinger uh, was uh, on another network. It looks like he's going to be retiring. Um, I really appreciate the way he fought for the country, but him and Liz Cheney seem to be at odds with you guys. Uh, Kevin McCarthy, you're running commercials saying you're going to be the next speaker. You're optimistic? Well, I'm running commercials to say, let's take this country back. You know what? If Republicans are able to take the majority, we'll make America energy independent. We'll secure the border. We'll stop this runaway inflation. We'll make America proud again around the world. And all you need to do is go to firepelosi.com, firepelosi.com, to join this movement to change this country in the right direction. All right. Uh, Leader McCarthy, thanks so much. Appreciate it.